kids. Welcome to science class. This is a special Purim science lesson that we're going to have today. I know you're excited about that. Today's special Purim lesson is all about a science term called inertia. Inertia tells us two things. One thing it tells us is that if something is moving, it tends to continue moving. You've all probably seen a toy car like this before. So what inertia tells us is that when this toy car is moving, it tends to want to continue moving in a straight line until something stops it. Watch that again. It'll continue moving the same direction, the same speed, until something stops it or it falls to the floor off the side of the table. The same with, uh, with this ball here, right? Inertia says that if this ball is moving, it's going to continue moving, unless something stops it. Say, a particularly charismatic science teacher exerts a force on it and stops it. The other aspect of inertia is that if something is not moving, it's going to continue not moving. Let's look at this ball again. What inertia tells me is that if this ball isn't moving, if I set it right here and let go of it, it's not going to begin moving by itself. If I put the ball here and let go of it, it's going to, it's not going to move. It's going to, if I take an object, like say this, uh, this cute little Purim, Purim clown thing that many of you made earlier today. If I take this delightfully amusing little clown thing and I just lay it down here and take my hands off, I know once I take my hands off, it's going to stay here. It's not going to just magically stand. stand um, it's, it's going to stay, right? Because of inertia. It's, it's, go it's going to stay. Stay. This is not going well. There's clearly some other force acting on this. Some, there's some other force involved besides inertia making it to move on its own like this. Magnets. I'll bet it's magnet. I'll bet it's got a magnet inside this. I wonder. I won't open. It can't open. But I, um, I, I know. I can. I know how to test it. So I've got this magnet here. And if there's a magnet in there that's causing it to spring up, this will interfere with it, I'll bet, and should cause it to fall back over again. I just need to get it in the right position. Um, I think the magnet's too small. Hold on, I need to get a bigger one. Got one. Here it is. All right. This this is a nice, powerful magnet here. This this if there's a magnet in here, this this will definitely. Um, come on, come on. There. It seems to have a little effect. Maybe I I need a bigger magnet. Hold on. Aha! This will work. This beast here is going to work, I'm sure. If there's a magnet in here, it's definitely going to respond to this magnet. Okay, so it's not magnetism electricity. I'll bet it's got an electric motor or something in there that pulls it back up. Every time I tip it over, the motor turns on and pulls it up. I bet that's it. I know how to test that. So I have this motor here, and I'm going to see if maybe it can keep the other motor. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got to try something else. 
Hold up, be right back. Motor's not much good if it doesn't do anything. So here. Now we're going to make this motor work. And we'll figure out, get this thing to start behaving and respect inertia like it should. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Check it out. See that? Now watch. Oh, shut up. All right. Gonna have to look inside this thing. So, there's something definitely going on inside this thing, and I have no idea what it is. So, I'm just going to have to look inside and see what's in it. And, uh, hmm, can't get, can't get it open. Um, hold on a minute, I need to get a tool. Okay, I'm back. So, all I need to do is cut this thing open a little. Hold on. If I can just pry it, if I push in really. Ow! Ooh. Gonna have to try something else. Hold on. There's got to be something, some point. I know, I know. Hold on. I got it. Ha-ha! <laughs> Look. Clay. How does that work? It's gravity! It's gravity! All the weight is on the bottom, so that when I let go, it just wants the weight to go down like that, and it stands up. <laughs> hey, I figured out how it works. Isn't that? Of course, uh, now it doesn't work anymore. Happy Purim.